so you should be the host now. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We had a few technical difficulties, but God is still faithful. This is the day that but we will rejoice and be glad in it. So we thank God for each and every one of you. We are here on Pentecost Eve. It is Pentecost already. So let's Amen. give God praise for Pentecost. Amen. We are in Pentecost already. We've been we fiddling with this technology, but we are in Pentecost already. So we give God praise. We're so thankful. I'm going to start off with a scripture as I welcome you. I'm going to welcome you with the word of God. And I will be reading the word of God according to the book of Acts. This is your welcome. And it says, Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as a fire and one set upon each of them. Verse four, it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. So we thank God for the filling of the Holy Spirit. And it says, and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speaking in their own language. Verse 7, Acts chapter 2. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites? Elamites, with those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Pergia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them speaking in our own tongues, hallelujah, the wonderful works of God. And that's what we're expecting tonight. The wonderful works of God as he speak through these women who thought it not robbery to come here. And so verse 12 in Acts chapter two says, so they were all amazed and perplexed saying to one another, whatever could this mean? Verse 13, others mocking said, they are full of new wine, hallelujah. But Peter standing up with the 11 raised his voice and said, men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem. Let this be known to you and heed my word. Verse 17, and it shall come to pass. And we are in the last day, said God. And God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your... on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy we are here on Pentecost May the 23rd this is Pentecost and they shall prophesy and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath this is the word of God for the people of God once again, we welcome you for Midnight War Cry. Women of God are here to intercede for our land, for our country, for our families, for our children, for each of you. And so we thank you for joining us. And at this time, I want to introduce to some of you and others of you know her, Mrs. Nadia Dixon, which will come and share with you our purpose. And right after Nadia shares her purpose, we will come in this order. First, we will have the Acts prayer, meaning adoration, confession, and thanksgiving. Our time of adoration will come by Elizabeth Poplin. Our time of confession, Catherine Mahoney. Our time of thanksgiving, Carla Chambers. And then we will enter into a time of strict, straight supplication. We will be 
petitioning God. We will be seeking the throne of grace. We'll be seeking the king of kings. And they will come in this order. After Carla Chambers and the prayer of thanksgiving is Donna Stallings, then Gwen Cohen, Patricia Propey, Latoya Bryant, Keisha Celestin, Kitty McCoy, Elizabeth Kennedy, Daniel Jordan, Kim Morrison, Rosalind Doss, and Regina Henry. These women are on fire for the Lord. So now we will hear from Nadia Dixon. Good evening, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you and to be part of this incredible opportunity to come together and join our hearts and our minds before God. Um, it was this time last year that um, Dr. Peacock and I had several conversations, heartfelt conversations. We were, um, like many, many of us, we were going through heartbreak and heartache with what was happening all around us. And we just felt like there was a call to action. We're like, God, what do you want us to do? And um, Dr. Peacock and I have known each other for years and she's been a mentor to me. She's been a spiritual mother. She's been an advisor. And I was just beside myself and I just needed to call her. And I said, what are you hearing from God? And it was, you know, uh, I think a week or two weeks before Pentecost. And it, it just the timing, it was nothing but the timing of God that we would come together for Pentecost. We talked about the midwives, how when, when women intercede and seek God, we're actually birthing things in the earth. And we know the things that need to be birthed. We also know the things that need to be loosed right now. And so there is no authority in the earth like the authority of the unified church the body of Christ coming together with one sound. And this is what the enemy is threatened by. And as he is threatened by this, um, we will, uh, we choose not to listen to him. We choose to hear God. We choose to seek his counsel. Because once his counsel is received by us and understood, his word cannot be challenged. His word cannot be broken. And so we're just giving utterance to the counsel of God. We're giving voice to his word, his instructions, and his decrees because he's given us agency. He's given us agency in the earth. As we give voice, it says in Psalm 103, as we give voice to his word, to his decree, to his counsel, the angels are dispatched and deployed to administrate his word in the earth. And so the enemy would have us distracted, diverted, and talking about things that don't align with God's word. But we have made an intentional choice to come and seek him, to hear him for this time, so that the word of God and the counsel of God would inform our prayer and our intercession tonight, so that in that one unified voice, we will give voice to what God has told us in the secret place. And he said, what you hear in secret, shout out from the rooftops. So that's what we're going to do tonight. What we've heard in the council and in the secret place, we're going to give it voice. We're going to declare it in the earth. And we're going to thank God for his delivering power. We're going to thank God because I believe tonight that God is going to raise up revivalists, transformationalists, and solutionists, because that's part of the birthing process, that there is a call and a mantle that lays on the heart. When we pray, when the people of God pray, he raises up a deliverer. And who could know that you are not born for such a time as this? So I just thank him. I thank him for your, um, your tenacity and your obedience to be here tonight. This is not a popular time for prayer, but here you all are, and you've put your hearts and surrendered them before the Lord. And here we are opening up the morning of Pentecost. How awesome is that? 
So before we go any further, I really believe that breakthrough is imminent, that we continue to seek God and to hear his counsel. We're transformed ourselves in our prayer life, praying and seeking him. We become more like him. And then when we become more like him, we begin to increasingly reveal more of him in the earth around us. And God talks about the fast. We've all had committed to a fast. He says, is this not the kind of fast I have chosen? This is from Isaiah 58, verse six, to loose the chains of injustice, to untie the cords of the yoke and to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry, to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own family, your own flesh and blood. Then, after you've done these things, it's not just about not eating. He says, when you do these things, then your light will break forth and shine like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call. And the Lord will answer you as you cry for help. He will say, here am I. Because the, the his people were saying, we're praying, we're fasting. Why aren't you hearing us? He says, do these things and then I will hear you. Do these things. This comes out not by, but by prayer and fasting. This comes not out, but by prayer and fasting. So these things that we are seeking um, deliverance for and to set and for the Lord to set us free, us free, and the territories that He has assigned to us to shift and impact. Fasting, these things that cannot come out but by fasting and prayer. We're at a critical time, but it's a breakthrough time, and it's for such a time as this. So I'm just so grateful to be here with you all. And to be part of this um, intercession, this midwives, midnight war cry. Amen. Amen. We will now, thank you so much, Sister Nadia. We will now begin our prayers, the Acts prayer, Elizabeth, Catherine, and Carla, then followed by Donna and others. If you would just come in that order, I will not be coming back. Will you pray with me? Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. How great is our God and greatly to be praised. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory and working wonders? Your way is perfect and your word is flawless and you shield all who take refuge in you. For who is God besides the Lord and who is the rock except our God? There is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You who keep your covenant of love with your servants who continue wholeheartedly in your way. With your mouth you have promised, and with your hand you have fulfilled it. You count the stars and assign each one a name. You are a miracle-working God whose skill formed the cosmos, who filled the skies with light. You keep your covenant of love with your servants who continue wholeheartedly in your way. Even the highest heavens cannot contain you. Blessed be your glorious name and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens and all their starry host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything and the multitudes of heaven worship you. We love you, Lord, our strength. You are our rock and our fortress and our deliverer, the one in whom we take refuge, our shield and the horn of our salvation. 
our stronghold. Let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. You have searched us, Lord, and you know us. You know when we sit and when we rise and you perceive our thoughts from afar. You discern our going out and our lying down. You are familiar with all of our ways. And before a word is on our tongue, Lord, you know it completely. Such knowledge is too wonderful for us, too lofty for us to attain. No one is like you, Lord. You are great and your name is mighty in power from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Most holy God, we celebrate your greatness and your goodness, Lord, your grace and your mercy toward us. You, Lord, are gracious and compassionate on all you have made. Father, you said in your word that if we boast that we have no sin, we're only fooling ourselves and are strangers to the truth. But if we freely admit our sins when your light uncovers them, you will be faithful to forgive us every time. Father, we know that you are just to forgive our sins because of Christ and that you will continue to cleanse us, Lord, from all unrighteousness. So we come even now humbly confessing that we have sinned and we have come short of the glory of God. Have mercy on us all, God, oh God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion, blot out the stain of our sins. Lord, you have told us what is good and what you require of us. You've already made it plain how you would have us to live a life that is pleasing in your sight. You ask that we would do what is right, what is fair and just to our neighbor. You asked us to love mercy, to be compassionate and loyal in our love. And you asked us to walk humbly with you, Lord. Even as we don't take ourselves too seriously, we need to take you seriously. And yet the more we would do right, Lord, we find ourselves doing the things we know we should not do. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for the things we have done and for the things we have left undone. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for seeking notoriety and forsaking humility. Forgive us for the times we have chosen a show of force and our incessant need to be right over quiet strength and dignity. Lord, forgive us for the times we have plotted our own course. We've run ahead of you, Lord, and not acknowledged your authority nor sought your guidance. Lord, forgive us for the times we've lingered too long behind you in doubt and fear and not boldly stepped out in faith to claim your promises to us. Lord, we have not worked at getting along with each other or with you. Forgive us, God, for having stony, selfish, self-centered hearts, for having wandering eyes and traitorous minds. God, forgive us for not living a life compelled by love. We have lacked compassion and concern for the suffering of those around us. We have forsaken kindness. At times we have just been plain mean-spirited, Lord. Forgive us for being impatient, overly sensitive, and discontent with second place. God, forgive us for holding grudges and harboring offenses and walking in unforgiveness. God, forgive us for gossiping and irritability and lying. Wow. Lord, forgive us for profanity, for using the power of our tongue to tear down instead of lifting up. Forgive us for murmuring and grumbling and complaining when our voices should be raised in thanksgiving and praise and adoration unto you. Have mercy on us, O oh God. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. God, we have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. God, we say like the psalmist, when we kept silent, our bones wasted away through our groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon us. Our strength was sapped as in the heat of a summer day. But Lord, when we acknowledge our sin to you and do not cover up our iniquity, now, Lord, that we confess our transgressions unto you, you are faithful to forgive the guilt of our sins. Look on us even now, Lord, with a heart of mercy, according to your generous love. God, according to your great compassion, we pray that you will wipe out every consequence 
of these our shameful sins. In your mercy, God, forgive what we have been, creating us a clean heart, O oh Lord, and renew the right spirit within us. Help us amend what we are and direct what we should be so that we may delight in your will and walk in your way mm -hmm. and bring glory and honor to your name. Lord, we believe you and we believe in you and we thank you that you hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Oh, Father, we bless your holy name for hearing our prayer tonight. We thank you, God, for this great, great, powerful occasion that we are together. This time of Pentecost power, God, where you set upon them. Father, we ask, God, for a mighty rushing wind to begin to sit upon the universe, God, that you created. Father, you created with your hands. Father, we bless your holy name, Father, for the goodness and the grace, Father, of your mercy. And now, Father, the universe is crying out again, God, hallelujah, that we may show forth your praise in this hour. Father, we thank you that your creation, God, will begin to glorify you like never before. We praise you, God, that your creation, God, hallelujah, will take dominion. We will occupy until you come in love. We shall begin to occupy in justice, God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for a mighty Russian wind that will cause truth to prevail in this hour. God, we ask for a wind that will begin to wake up your intercessors, God, to wake up your apostles, your prophets, your teachers, God, your evangelists, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. The pastors will awaken, hallelujah, to the cry of of justice again. Father, we thank you that the earth will begin to produce and multiply power, power, hallelujah, that will silence liars, that will silence the deceiver in the name of Jesus. God, you said that you, this wind, God, this mighty rushing wind, God, will bring a fresh fire, God. It's a promise, God, that we are in position right now, God, and we pursue in expectation of this great power that families will be re reunited, God. Hallelujah that the earth will begin to cry out your praise, that the earth will begin to render your power like never before, that will cause families to come back together, that will cause our young people, God, to begin to lift their hands and praise you like never before. Let a Holy Ghost fire begin to roll through the earth, God. Let a Holy Ghost power begin to roll through the earth that will cause the Father back home, the mother back home in Jesus' name. God, we thank you for the family in the universe, God. We call things that be not as though they were, God. We call, God, everything about you, the wind of God, to begin to blow to, to begin to blow and cause every molecule that's causing diseases in the earth to be silenced in Jesus' name. Every evil work in the earth to be silenced. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fire begin to fall, Rebashaya, on your midwives, God, that we will begin to rebirth, God, that we will begin to birth, God, the unity in the earth that will cause, Hallelujah, a breakthrough, a, a break forward in Jesus' name. Oh, God, let Pentecost fire rest upon us let it rest upon our hearts god heal the brokenhearted god set the captives free god hallelujah let us begin to march with this great new anointing this great new fire god oh god the earth is lifting up their hands saying anoint us again anoint us god for the purpose for what you created us anoint us again in holy ghost pentecost fire, God. Let it sweep the earth. Let a love come out, God. Let the richness of your glory prevail like never before, God. Oh, God, we silence every demonic foe, and we release the power, angelic host. Hallelujah, to begin to call into order the things that you have ordained. Now, Pentecost fire, fresh holy fire, fall on us. Anoint us in love. Anoint us in grace. Anoint us in favor, anoint us in influence, anoint us in authority, hallelujah, that we shall do great 
and mighty things for you, oh God. Now, God, God, let the power, God, begin to arrest the churches again. Let the sound of the churches in the universe, let it begin to roll out, God. That the lost will be found, God. That those that were in the backslider will come back because of the sound of this Pentecost fire. And we give you praise. We give you glory. We rejoice, God, in this breakthrough fire in the mighty matchless name of the one that created the universe. Now create universe, respond to the winds of this fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare it so. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Lord. We thank you, God. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. We magnify you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness. Thank you, Lord. The earth is full of your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God. Thank God for his word. Thank God for the power of prayer. Thank God that one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000. Thank God that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. We're going to continue in this prayer. Hallelujah. That's right, Brenda. We're going to continue in this prayer. Fresh wind, fresh fire. Amen. 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 We will now uh, go uh, in the order of Minister Proby, then Latoya and on. So we will now hear uh, Minister Proby. God bless you. Oh Lord, you are righteous and your regulations are fair. Your laws are perfect and we can't hear you, Minister Proby. Right. Oh Lord, you are righteous and your regulations are fair. Your laws are perfect and completely trustworthy. We are overwhelmed with indignation for our enemies have disregarded your words. Your promises have been thoroughly tested. That is why we love them so much. We are insignificant and despised, but we don't forget your commandments. Your justice is eternal and your instructions are perfectly true. As pressure and stress bear down on us, we find joy in your commands. Your laws are right. Help us to understand them so that we may live. God, we come before you as intercessors this evening for the city of Charlotte and also the state of North Carolina. God, we come before you because this is the city in which you have, which you have us residing, Father God, where we dwell and we feel your presence and we have our being. We come before you right now, Father God, that you would just open up a window and pour out your blessings upon this city, upon the surrounding suburbs, Father God, where we live, where we are, and we have our being. In your presence, God, we're asking for your presence to come down even right now as others are sleeping, Father God. God, we are here to pray on their behalf. We are here, Father God, um, to, to pray for, for, for Waxhaw. We're here to pray for Charlotte. We're here to pray for Indian Trail. We're here to pray for all of these suburbs, Father God, in Mooresville, Father God, in Gastonia, surrounding areas, God. We're praying here for the state of North Carolina, Father God, that you would just take your breath and just breathe down on us, Father God. It is because of you that we were awakened even on this morning with your breath to see, feel, and hear you around us. Father God, you brought us to this moment, even one and a half, many more months later during a pandemic, Father God, you kept us, you maintained us, you sustained us. Oh God, we've gone through some things. We 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 met death, Father God, for some. And, and God, but we're here tonight to say thank you. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for saving us, God, because 
We could not do it, God. We could not do it without you. If it had not been for you on our side, where would we be? Here we are on tonight, Pentecost night, Father God, to lift up the names that are here on tonight. Those that are listening, those that are on intercessors on this program, Father God, fresh anointing upon them, your oil of blessing upon them. As we cry out to you, God, for our city, for our state, for our counties, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you would just continue, Father God, to lift us up. Father God, for those of us who even have doubt right now, Father God, fill us, Father God, with knowing we have the victory right now in the name of Jesus. We call it done, Father God, that tomorrow morning we won't wake up and hear about someone sh shot, Father God, that tomorrow morning, Father God, They'll just be talking about the weather and how warm it's been. Oh, God, we're asking that you watch over every single family, every single person. Father God, those who are believers, we're calling upon the non-believers even on tonight, God, to, for you to just touch us, for you to fill them right now with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Even while they're sleeping, God, you can do it, that act of salvation, so that when they are waking on tomorrow morning and they click the button to join the service somewhere, Father God, they're coming to you to be saved. They're coming to you because your laws are right, because you're righteous, because you are fair. Despite the circumstances, Father God, we're calling upon you right now in the name of Jesus to bless us here, Father God. Bless the country, Father God. Bless every state, Father God. Bless this world, Father God. Even under this, this pandemic, God, that you, you, you are in control. We need to understand you're in control and let you be the one who blesses us. Oh God, open up your window of blessings poured upon us right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father God, we thank you on tonight. Lord, you're so good. Oh God, we just thank you and we bless your name, Jesus. God, we thank you tonight, seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the son of God. Let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Hallelujah. God, we thank you tonight that we don't have such a great high priest. God, you're able to meet us where we are. God, you sympathize with us. And tonight, Father, we lift up to you every person at this hour in this moment that is suffering, God, every person that is deprived, every person that is lacking, we lift them up to you. And we pray for the fire of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We pray, God, that you would meet them where they are, that your presence will be with them even in the midnight hour. And so, Lord, we ask you now to just touch each and every person throughout this nation that is suffering, that is going through a wilderness season, that is going through a trying time tonight, God. We ask that you would touch them. We ask that you would meet them where they are. We ask that, oh God, you would go before them. You would be with them on every side. And Father, for those that all they, all they see is darkness, we pray, God, and we declare, arise and shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. And we pray, God, that your glory will arise. And we pray, God, that you will open up doors financially. You will open up doors mentally and emotionally and spiritually. God, we pray for wholeness for every person that is suffering. We pray, God, for breakthroughs. We pray, God, that you would meet them in their place of brokenness. And we pray, oh God, for compassion. God, help us to be a people that are compassionate the same way you are compassionate, God. Let us look like you. Let us be your hands and your feet, Father. Stir us up, God, that we will be the answer that this world needs, that we will shine forth your light and your grace and your glory. And we thank you, God, tonight that you see the sparrow fall. We thank you, God, tonight that you see all things you know all things you look to and fro throughout the earth. And God, you will uh, desire and see a broken spirit and a contrite heart. 
And so, Father, remember tonight those that are suffering. Remember tonight those that are deprived. Remember tonight, oh God, those that are going through very difficult, trying times and tribulations. God, we extend our faith to them, and we know that you are great and greatly to be praised. And we are believing you, God, that you will meet them where they are in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Celeste, then Kitty, and then Elizabeth. Heavenly Father, Lord and creator of all things, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Oh Lord, we are women of God seeking your face and asking you to hear our cry for our families, our relationships, single, married, or widow, in our children. You said in your word, Lord, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Most gracious God, we speak your will for these areas in our lives. Your word tells us in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, if we trust you and lean not to our own understanding and in all our ways acknowledge you that you will direct our path. Together, we are standing on your promises this morning. All powerful and merciful God. Lord, rebuild and restore marriages and relationships. Teach us to love one another as Christ loved the church. Heal the women of God from all spiritual attacks from the enemy. From anger, resentment, bitterness, fear, hurt, selfishness, envy, jealousy, and pride. And Lord, we ask you to replace it with those things, place those things with love, peace, forgiveness, kindness, gentleness, gratefulness, wisdom, understanding, discernment, knowledge, and good judgment. Strengthen was weak, mend was broken, heal was sick, illuminate what's dark, revive what is dead. You said in your word, Lord, you are our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Sovereign God, help us to stay steadfast, unmovable, unshakable. Please watch over our children. We can't hear you, Celeste. Keep them, Lord, from all hurt and danger, seen and unseen. Send your holy angels down to guide, shield, and protect our children and families. Draw them closer to you each day. We bind up every generational curse and we loose every generational blessing, the blessings of Abraham. You said in your word, by little, by little, you will drive them out from before thee until they be increased and inherit the land. Give our children and families everything that has been stored up for them. Our inheritance. Today we are standing on your promises because we know you can do it. Lord, we stand on every name that's above all names. Jesus, the Holy One, who is, was, and is to come. Jehovah Jireh, our faithful provider. Jehovah Shalom, our peace. Jehovah Shammah, ever present with us. Jehovah Sitkanu, our righteousness. Jehovah Raphri, our healer. Jehovah Raha, our loving shepherd. Jehovah Nisi, our banner. Stand, I say, stand on the promise of God. Jesus, in your holy, magnificent name, we claim it, we receive it, we declare it, we seal it, and we cover it with the blood of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God, we continue to lift your name high because truly there's none like you. For unto us a child is born, to us a son shall be given, and the government 
shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And so God, that's who we continue to call on, the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. God, we are calling for a divine government that is born by and rest upon the foundations on your shoulders, oh God. On Christ, the solid rock, we stand, oh God. We call in on your name, oh God, wonderful counselor, to lead us, continue to lead us in the path of righteousness, continues to lead us in ways that make decisions for on the behalf of all of us, oh God. We call forth justice, oh God. Yes, we want equity. Yes, we want equality. But we call before justice, oh God. You're not a Democrat, nor you're a Republican. You are a just God. And God, without government being just, oh God, there will be systems in, uh, that will offer equal access. Oh God, we're praying for equal tools and opportunities, not only just for in the government, but in our educational systems, oh God. God, the word reminds us to train up children um, with the way that we should go and they won't depart from that, oh God. So we call for wisdom. God, we're calling for wisdom and integrity and men and, with, men and win, women of um, education leaders, oh God. We are asking, oh God, that you be upon them, lead them, oh God. God, we come against um, illiteracy in the name of Jesus, oh God. We know Charlotte ranks last in upward mobility. We come against that spirit of poverty, but we know um, education is a key and a significant impact in moving individuals out of poverty. So God, we come against generational curses, even now in the name of Jesus, we bind anything that will continue to hinder our children to learn. Oh God, we call for access, oh God, we call for equality in the educational systems, even now in the name of Jesus, oh God, you have certainly leveled the field. God, let them, whatever they have may have lost during this pandemic time, I pray that you you will increase learning. I pray that you provide systems and support. So God, yes, from the government that will support children and learning and school age as well as adult learners. So God, so we're calling forth learning, oh God, opportunities, oh God, in the name of Jesus. As we call on the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, oh God, we stand on you, oh God. You are our righteousness, oh God. You lead us in these paths of righteousness for your namesake. And so God, we thank you for being in the midst. We thank you for answering our prayers. We thank you in advance for hearing us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that our government, hallelujah, is established upon your shoulders, oh God. And we stand on you, oh God. It is in Jesus' name, God, that we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you. We give you praise on a day like this that women gather together in one accord, midnight war cry, Pentecost Sunday. It's not by accident that you have allowed us to be gathered here in one accord with one spirit, we come together as intercessors from all over the world to say, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. I want to thank you, God of mercy, God of love, the one who, according to Psalm 68, verse five to six, your word says, you are the father to the fatherless, a defender of widows is God in his holy habitation. For God sets the solitary in families. He also brings out those who are bound into prosperity. Father, this is your word. And we bring your word back to you that as many who are homeless, as, are, as many who are prisoners, today we pray that you will give father to the fatherless. Give mothers to the motherless. Give them a home and set them free from every captivity. Set them free from every imprisonment. 
Your word says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind. We speak to their brains. We speak to their minds that they will be free in their mind using the word of God. As their minds are set free, so will they be free physically because freedom begins from the mindset. And we say, your word says, as a man thinketh, so is he. We pray that they will start thinking of freedom, freedom in their spirit man, freedom in their spirit man. As they are set free in the realm of the spirit, they will be set free even in the natural, even in the physical. So do what you know how to do best, oh Lord, setting the captives free and giving hope to the hopeless, home to the homeless, setting those who are in captivity, lose from the spirit of captivity. Father, thank you because you do it marvelous things without number. We give you glory, we give you praise. Let it be a gift on this Pentecost day that the homeless are given hope, the prisoners are set free. Thank you for you do it marvelous things without number. Father, we also want to thank you your word says in Psalm 7, verse 9, oh, it said, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. We want to pray in one accord to set free, to bring an end to sex trafficking. Our young girls are being trafficked. Our young men are being trafficked. Their destinies are being jeopardized because of selfish and wicked people. Today, we stand in one accord as intercessors from all over the world to say, to declare Psalm 7 verse 9, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let the wickedness of sex trafficking come to an end. We release our daughters who have been pounded by those tra sex traffickers. We set them free. We set them loose in the name of Jesus. The innocent girls, the innocent boys, the innocent women, the innocent men who have been held by the bondage of sex trafficking. Today, we set them free because your word says, he that the son of man sets free is free indeed. John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, the thief cometh not, but to still kill and destroy. Jesus came that we may have life. I speak life to those who have been trafficked sexually. I speak life to those who have been homeless. I speak life to those who are in prison. There are some people who are in prison for what they never did. They are innocently in prison. Father, we pray. Some have been in prison because of racism, because something they never knew of. Today, we bring an end to racism. We bring an end to racism. We bring an end to racism. We bring an end to sex trafficking. We bring an end to homelessness because you set the solitary in families and you bring out those who are bound into prosperity. Father, we thank you. Thank you for Barbara Peacock Ministries. Thank you because of the soul care. Thank you for how you have used this ministry to set many men and women free from negative mindset. Thank you for this midnight war cry. We pray that the gift we will have on this Pentecost is how those who have been in captivity will be set free. Oh, he who the son of man has set free is free indeed. We are free indeed. Our families are free indeed. Our marriages are free indeed. We are free indeed in every area of our life. We give you praise. We worship you. The king of kings, we adore you. We lift your name on high. From ages past, you remain the same. The unchanging changer. The one that giveth us song even in the midnight season. Oh, in this midnight war cry, put a new song in our mouth. Put a new song in our mouth. Put a new song in our mouth. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for the breath in our lungs. We thank you for being our great physician. We pray for your miraculous healing of our physical, our emotional, 
and any spiritual sickness that we have. Lord, breathe life in these dry bones. Have them come alive right now. Come alive, dry bones. Come alive. Heal us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heal us of any sickness, of any illness. I declare and proclaim Psalm 103, 1 through 8. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who oh. forgets all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeemed your life from the pit, who crowned you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Lord Jesus, we pray a special prayer also for our loved ones in nursing homes. We pray for all those in nursing homes. May they feel your presence so strongly. Thank you for the opportunity for our families and our friends to see their loved ones again in nursing homes. I pray for sweet fellowship. I pray for sweet community, for each one to feel loved by you and seen by you, El Roy and by their families and nursing home com community to feel loved and know they are loved and valued. May each nursing home be a sweet sanctuary for you, Lord Jesus. I pray for revival inside those walls and outside and in our hearts as well. Be with each nurse, medical attendant who cares for each nursing home guest. They are like angels unaware. And Lord, we know May is considered Mental Health Month. So I pray for a release of the battlefield of the mind. I pray for release. I pray for the chains and the shackles to be gone and anything in, inside of us. Whatever bitter roots have grown deep into our souls, I pray for those roots to be unearthed and healed by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Hurt people, hurt people, healed people, heal people. Heal us, Lord, so that you may use us to heal others. By your stripes, we are healed. We know we have to reveal it to heal it. We surrender to you, Lord. May we find refreshment in your word as we heal. For Samuel 30, Six says, and David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because all the people were bitter in soul, each for his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord, his God. May we strengthen ourselves in you, Lord, our God. Lord, make beauty from ashes. When we feel like Lazarus, rise us up, raise us up, raise us up, raise us up. I declare and proclaim Isaiah 61, 1 through 7, the year of the Lord's favor over each of us. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall build up the ancient ruins they shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and tend your flocks. Foreigners shall be your plowmen and vine dressers. But you shall be called the priest of the Lord, 
They shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. You shall eat the wealth of all nations. And in their glory, you shall boast. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everlasting joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this opportunity, this time you've given us to gather together on this midnight war cry. And Father, I come praying according to your word that this is the confidence that we have. Whatever we ask, according to your will that you hear us. And if you hear us, we have that which we ask of. God, I thank you that our prayers can go where we cannot, that there are no borders, no prison walls, no doors that are closed to us when we pray. There is no problem too great or too small for you, oh God. And God, you never lack a solution. And according to your word, God, I come praying for salvation of the lost, praying for those in the 1040, 69 nations that reside in the 1040 window and the persecuted Christians. Lord, we pray according to your word, God, that it is your will that all people in the 1040 window, all people in our families, community, workplaces, all people who are far from you, God, be saved, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and that they come into the knowledge of the truth according to 1 Timothy 2, 4, which mean, means that all human race, men from every nation, every tribe, tongue, and people, God, that they will come to the saving knowledge of you, oh God. And according to the purpose of Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection that provided the way of salvation for every person, for every boy, every girl, man, and woman to become a new creation, creation in Christ Jesus. And God, 2 Peter 3, 9 says that the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness but is long suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And oh God, please help us to see the people in the 1040 window with X-ray like eyes of revelation knowledge by the spirit of the living God. I pray that we will move quickly to pull people everywhere from the rubble of sin and bring them into the kingdom of God's safety and light. Oh God, in Jesus' name, may it be so. I pray, God, for the eyes of our understanding to be enlightened. I pray, oh God, that the that we bind up the strong man right now in Jesus' name, who is trying to hold people in the 1040 window. Captive, oh God, I bind the hand of the enemy and I command the enemy, yes, Lord, by the power and the authority of the name of Jesus, that he that lose his power lose his power over God's precious people. I bind him up right now. I pray for a spiritual breakthrough over the darkness that has oppressed the land and his people for so long in Jesus' name. Oh God, have your way. Let your power be felt, oh God. And even though those persecuted Christians, oh God, who are on the battlefield, I pray God that you will meet them at the point of need. I plead the precious blood of Jesus Jesus over them, God, as they carry out their assignment. I pray, God, that you will build them up in their most holy faith, oh God. I come against any fear, oh God. I pray your protection over them, God. Oh God, as they are in the enemy's territory, oh God, I pray, God, that you will keep them by your power. Oh, Heavenly Father, I lose. I pray that we lose a spirit of repentance and a hunger and thirst for righteousness over every unsaved person. Oh God, in Jesus' name, I thank you now, God, because I lift you up. We lift you up from the earth. And God, you do all the drawing. We call the leaders and the citizens of every country, every province and village in the 1040 window. We call them saved, filled with the Holy Spirit and submitted to your will, Father. 
in the name of Christ Jesus, this is our prayer. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just want to thank you for just being almighty, Father. I thank you, God, for being a faithful father, for being everlasting, Lord. I know, oh God, that you are a God who never sleeps or never, you never slumber, oh God. You are a God who sees all things and you are always at work. And so tonight, God, or this morning, I pray, Father God, just as you have saved us and you have filled us with your Holy Spirit, God, you have purified us to do your work and to do your will here on earth. And so, Lord God, the hour has come for us to be awakened from our sleep. God, too many of us are sleeping spiritually. Too many of us are distracted. Too many of us do not have our priorities, oh God, in order. But this morning, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you would release a fresh anointing, God, in the name of Jesus, to reach the hearts of those who are asleep spiritually. Awaken hearts, oh God, even in this midnight cry, oh God, that they will hear a sound, oh God, there will be a stirring in the land. There will be a stirring in the land where hearts and souls will be awakened to the spirit of God, to the purposes of God, to the will of God, to the, to the yearning and the longing for God and for godliness. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that you would quicken us in our bodies to your spirit, the spirit of God that dwells on the inside of us, Father God. I pray that you would revive us, even every person on this call, on this Zoom call, Lord God, that you would revive us and use us to revive others in the name of Jesus. Father, on this Pentecost morning, Lord Jesus, let your power increase in us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit to the overflow in the name of Jesus. And I pray that you would bring forth a harvest, bring forth a harvest in the name of Jesus to family members, to our churches, to our children, to our children's children, to our neighbors, to our communities, to our states, to our land, to our countries. In the name of Jesus, we declare harvest tonight. We declare harvest tonight. Oh God, harvest of the seeds that are in the ground, all the seeds that have been planted in the name of Jesus. Add souls to the church. Add souls to your body. Revive and awake in souls this morning in the name of Jesus work in our hearts oh God work in the hearts of humanity Lord God that we will desire we would be we would desire to be awakened we would desire to be revived in the name of Jesus we will be we would desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit we we would desire to be baptized in the fire of God in the name of Jesus and all consuming fire the one who has the ability to strip us and to uh rid us of every unclean thing god in the name of jesus let us be awakened tonight let us be awakened god it is your desire for none to perish it is your desire that none will be lost and we stand in agreement and alignment with that oh god with your desire father god and we pray that you would use us as your vessels lord god and any of us that may be sleeping any of us that may be functioning in disobedience revive us oh god to the call to the purposes of god in our lives that you have placed father god in the name of jesus may there be a stirring that will cause hearts to desire and to long after holiness, oh God, and righteousness, oh God, and to thirst and to hunger after you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, just as the disciples were together in one place, in one accord, oh God, here we are, oh God, in different places, but we're together in the spirit in one accord. Oh God, may your power be released, oh God, to bring forth transformation, to bring forth revival, oh God, to bring forth revival in the land, I pray. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done. And we declare the sleeping giants, rise up, rise up and take your rightful place in the kingdom of God, in Jesus' name. David records according to Psalm 13. He says, how long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord, my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. 
And my enemy will say, I have overcome him. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. And so, Father God, tonight as your children come and we pray and lament before you, Lord, we lament, oh God, and direct our pain, oh God, from our mouths to your ears. Oh God, we are crying out to you, Father, and utilize this tool of prayer and lament, oh God, to navigate our pain and suffering. We understand, Heavenly Father, that when we lament, and when we pray, oh God, to you, we pray and petition you to you, oh God, because you are the one who is able to deliver us from our distresses. You are able to deliver us from suffering and from our pain. We lament to draw near to you in our grief and to cry out in our distress. And when we turn to you, oh God, in our mourning, we are reminded of the truth of who you are. You are the God that still delivers. So although, Father, we come to you with heavy hearts and even our bodies are tired and our souls may be weary, even in our brokenness and in our darkest moments, we even cry out to the God who delivers and who saves and who heals and set free. God, we plead with you right now in the name of Jesus that you, oh God, will be the God that will help us through, even through this pandemic. We plead, oh God, with you to do something, not do something later, but God, we are crying out even in the midnight hours to do something now. In the midst of evilness and devastation and home hopelessness, um, even when we think about the thresholds of our consciousness, oh God, the weariness of our souls and the interruptions of our lives, God, that seems sometimes so overwhelming, we are still crying out. You told us to cry out to you. Oh God, even in the midst of a global crisis, to cry out to you. And we cry out to you, oh God, not just, oh God, from physical need of help, but mental, spiritual, and even emotional. And oh God, we know that you know all things and you know all things well. Oh God, so we pray, oh God, for the pandemic of this COVID virus. We pray that you stop the coronavirus, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, even now for those who are sick, that they will have access to care and treatment that they need. We pray for the health care workers, oh God, who are caring for those with COVID. We pray their protection from this virus and their stamina and strength, oh God, through those long intensified work hours. We're praying for the grieving families, oh God, who have lost loved ones, oh God, to this deadly disease. Oh God, we pray, oh God, even where their hearts are breaking, that you will be the comfort of their hearts. Oh God, that you will be the peace in their minds. God, we're praying for even the pastors and the leaders, those that you are using as your instruments and your tools as lay servants, oh God, that you will touch and empower them, oh God, to be the voice and the hand and the feet in the communities, oh God, in this nation and in this world. Oh God, we're praying right now in the strong name of Jesus for the body of Christ worldwide that is deep dealing with the same pandemic, but we serve the same God, the one and only true living God, that we will all rise up and that we will pray and support one another through sickness, even in sickness, even in health, even in wealth, whatever the need is, God, we are crying out to you that every need will be met. We believe, Heavenly Father, that even as we lament, that we ought to praise because our hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and your righteousness. And so we pray and we believe according to Psalm 107 and six, it says they, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. So our hope tonight in the midst of crying, oh God is in Christ Jesus alone. And we say to you, Father, we thank you for what you're going to do and what you've already done. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for the prayers that have been lifted on tonight, oh, Lord. Lord, we have entered your courts with thanksgiving. We have entered your courts with praise, oh, Lord. We thank you for this time of prayer. We thank you, Lord God, that these prayers that have been lifted are a sweet aroma to your nostrils, oh, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear our prayers and that you are faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. We thank you that your faithful love endures forever, Lord. We thank you, Father, for victory over sin, Father. We thank you, Father, for the prayers. We thank you for the intercessors. And I plead the blood of Jesus right now over every prayer that has been lifted unto you, Father. We thank you and count it done, for we know that all things work together for good for those that love you and are called according to your purpose. So we thank you, Lord, that we have been called for all of those that have been called on tonight, Lord. We thank you, Father, for redemption. We thank you, Lord, for your love, for your joy, for your peace, for your mercy, for your grace. We thank you, Father, and count it done. We thank you, Lord God, that at the name of Jesus, demons shall tremble. We thank you, Lord God, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So we thank you, Lord God, that every demonic assignment has been canceled in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O God, that your love and your mercy endures forever. We thank you, Lord God, for this gift of Pentecost, Lord. God, and the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, that we have the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. So we come in authority. We come boldly and confidently before your throne of mercy, Lord, and we just thank you for that right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you have victory already have victory. And so because we are in you, we have authority over death, hell, and the grave. And so we thank you, Lord, now for the power that dwells within us by your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, and lift up these praises of thanksgiving to your holy name, for it is in Jesus' name we come and praise your holy name and say hallelujah and thank you, God. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Amen. Why don't you just unmute and let us just give God some praise tonight. Why don't we just worship him in this sanctuary today? Bless your holy name, God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Bless you. Bless you. We name, honor God. you, God. Lord, God. So worthy. Majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Hallelujah. You're merciful. You're merciful. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Power. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, my There's no one like you, Father. Honor you, O oh, God. Did high and you look for God. Oh, God. God. In all your ways. The glory of your name, O oh, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for being all that we need you to be. Thank you for being strong. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being the living in the valley. Thank you for being from heaven. Yes, Lord. Thank you for being the living water, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. We are the living in the stars. If you are your God, there is no one like Jehovah. No one like you, Lord. No one like you, Lord. We love you, God. The love on you, Lord. We want to worship you in spirit and in truth, God. Oh, God, inhabit the praise of everything. Oh, God, we are lifting you up, oh, God, because there is none like you, Lord. No one in all 
the earth. No one compares. 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 No one like the lowly Jesus. No one. Oh, no, not one. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. We cry out with the holy angels. Oh, God. Holy. 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 Is your name, oh God? Holy, holy is your name, Jesus. Holy, 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 holy is your name. Oh God, we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, Jesus. Oh, in the midnight hour, we say we love you. Early in the morning, we rise and say we love you. In the afternoon hour, we say we love you, Lord. Oh God, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your mercy, Lord. We're still standing here, oh God. Oh God, because, oh God, of your power, because of your strength, oh God. Thank you. you for being an on time God. You are on time God. You're never a minute late. On time. God, and we just thank you. Yes, Thank you, oh God. Whatever you decide to do, it is perfect and pleasing. She may not understand. And the only one in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Unification. Thank you for restoration. Yes, Lord. Thank you for deliverance, Father. Thank you for salvation, Lord. Thank you for salvation. Thank you. Thank you for salvation, Jesus. Oh God, I'm grateful, grateful, grateful. Our hearts are grateful. We are grateful. We are so grateful. So grateful. It could have been us out there. Oh God, but we're grateful. Grateful. So grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so yes. grateful. Jesus. So grateful. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful you kept me in my right mind. I'm just so grateful. Oh, God, you keep my heart in perfect peace. I'm just so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so grateful. Have your way in our lives. Thank you. I'm grateful and dedicate my life to you. All that I am, all that I will forever be. I'm dedicated to you, Lord. You are the only one of us. My soul makes a boast in you, Lord. My soul makes a boast in you. Yes, oh God. Yes, God. My soul makes a boast in you. Oh, shall hear thereof and be glad. I boast in you, Father. I boast in you, Lord. Still yet, no matter what, I give you glory. Thank you, Father. You are God. God and God alone. God and God alone. That's the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You God and God alone. No one like you, no one. No one nowhere. No one nowhere, God. No one nowhere. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Oh, I love you, Father. I just love you. You are Father. You are my Father. Rock us in the midnight hour. Oh, God, you just hold us close in your arms. You wipe our tears away. Thank you, Lord. I don't know why you do what you do, but I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, God. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. To love you, Lord. She knows. Our deliverer. Healer of my soul. Healer of my soul. 
Have your way. Thank you. 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 Let your countenance and your work shine in the living. In the name of Maya Nelele, Liberty, liberty. Yes, Lord. Liberty, God. Yes, Lord. yes. You will got a freedom. No longer back. Come on, oh, oh, oh. Release, release yeah. the chains, no God. Chance. Release the no chains. Hallelujah. I will yeah. I will no no I she may, yes, 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 Oh, yes, Lord. Mm, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.